Yeah, on Tuesday, Maryland Governor Westmore signed legislation eliminating that statute of limitations when it comes to suing sexual abusers. Before, victims over the age of 38 were not permitted under law to pursue civil lawsuits against their abusers or institutions related to their abuse. That all changed Tuesday when Moore signed the Child Victims Act of 2023. Now victims can file those allegations and take action when they are ready. There is no statute of limitations on the pain that these victims continue to feel. There is no statute of limitations on the hurt that endures for decades after someone is assaulted. Because this bill at the end will not undo years of suffering. But maybe it'll give us hope. That was state delegate C.T. Wilson who helped to get that bill passed. Wilson, a survivor himself, took to the podium and attempted to explain the impact abuse can have on victims for years. My neglect my emotional unavailability, that I'm volatile, that I'm distant, and that I'm quick to step out and abandon people. I'm not speaking for all the survivors, but I'm speaking for quite a few of them who unintentionally left the trail of misery and sadness in their wake as we struggle every day just to make it. This was a bipartisan move that comes on the heels of a damning report from the state's attorney general about the Archdiocese of Baltimore. That's where investigators say Catholic Church leaders abused and in some cases outright tortured more than 600 children over 60 years. The Baltimore Archdiocese has since apologized to the victims, saying the report details a reprehensible time in their history. With this new law, the cap for lawsuits against religious organizations in Maryland is $1.5 million. The cap on public institutions, however, is $890,000. That amount, while a victory for some, is a discrepancy Catholic Church representatives oppose and will likely challenge. However, today is a day for celebration for many advocates as laws like this one continue to spread across the country.